Allow me leave appreciation, allow me leave acknowledgement. But where we have failed terribly is in approach. It's not enough to learn the duty of prayer. It's not enough to learn how to pray. You must also learn how to approach God. Does it make sense? Because you're coming before who? It's important how you approach him. Else you may think he's there and he's not what? He's not there in the first place. I remember when he met Moses at the burning bush, he told Moses, hey, 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 hey. remove your what? The place where you stand is what? Joshua, who takes over after who? Moses. Also, at some point, when they're just about to take over, um, it's called what? Jericho. He appears to Joshua. And Joshua thinks he's an enemy. And he tells Joshua, I am the commander of the army of what? Of the Lord. Remove your what? Your shoes. Where you stand is holy. And so in as much as God is our father, we are his children. We cannot approach him the way we approach an equal. There must be a sense of reverence. Yes, he's my father. I can talk to him, tell him what I want. It's like a son talks to his father. But you must remember at the back of your mind, he's not an equal to you. He's the sovereign God. Supreme God. Creator of the universe. Reverence is key. It has taught me even when I do my prayers at the altar. Huh? See the way you wake up from bed with, with, with a, a night dress that reaches here. Huh? And then you say, Niko peke yangu, ni bedroom yangu. What you forgot is that you are approaching who? God. Naked? Yeah. Even if your neighbor knocked, if your neighbor knocked in the middle of the night and you are in that night dress, because it's you and your husband, that night dress, do you go to open the door with that night dress? Well, do you open the door with that night dress? Ah, even the Lord had given directions on how to build those altars. Our same text. Let me just go back there before we, 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 we go to, to, to what we want to learn today. L listen, verse 25, Exodus 20, 24. Uh, we are now in 25. And if you make me an altar of stone, you shall not build it of hewn stone. Hewn stone like, like this one. Okay? See, to me, stones in a chongwa. You shall not build it of hewn stones, for if you use your tool on it, huh? if you use your tool on it, you have pro profaned it. Listen to 26. Nor shall you go up by steps to my altar. It is not an altar you build that you can, you can step on as you move to it. Why? Listen. Listen to the reason. Why? Why? That your nakedness may not be exposed on what? On it. Nawe huko tu unamuka na panty na t-shirt. Ati niko kwa bedroom yangu ni naomba. We are so careless when it comes to, to meeting our Creator. 
तरीके हलस वी फॉरगेट वी आर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ गॉड आकी का किनेकेड हाउ नाउ Those are special moments that you think twice before you kneel down. I'm coming in the presence of who? Of God. It's the only bit we have not taught our people. And so when Jacob has just made peace with his brother Esau And remember they had a night they had wrestled with God. And the Lord blesses him. And creates peace between him and his brother. Jacob in chapter 33 verse 20 The Bible says Genesis sorry at Jacob Genesis Then he erected an altar there and called it El Elohe Israel and just when he had done that you no know, they've just met with the sow they have made peace and he's thanking god that i've made peace with my brother he erects an altar to thank the lord chapter 34 he has not even settled and then some two sons circumcise shekemites This was Simeon and Levi. And Jacob is now afraid that my we are a small people. These guys will gang against us and will kill us. And as to cry to the Lord what to do next, and the Lord tells him move to Bethel. So we are in chapter 35. Then God said to Jacob, "Wamesha circumcise what wakaua?" Then God said to Jacob, "Arise, go up to where? To Bethel." Sipendi watu wananisikiza, waangalie Biblia yao, wanasikia tu vitu ninasema. I do that just to be sure that you with me arise go up to bethel and dwell there toka hiyo mahali mliua watu hapo enda mkaishi bethel listen and make an altar there to who to god he's so specific because people have risen people have 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 erected altars to the devil he specifically say go dwell there and make an altar to god who appeared to you when you fled from the face of Esau your brother i want to to have you imagine jacob and his household his household is more than you are we are talking about the four women and all their children and all his servants with their families and what wives and and children It's a big household and these people jacob has to prepare them for worship at where at where follow me closely because if you don't follow me closely you'll say nilikukanyaga miguu yako na ni wewe unakanyaga sisi miguu the lord has told him you know bethel is not but jacob 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 is He's so happy very grateful how the lord has dealt with him jacob has been carrying a luggage on his shoulder for a very long time since he left his home when his mother was alive remember he came when his mother is dead oh yeah alipotea mama yake alikufa hata kuzika kwa sababu hawezi kutana na ndugu yake kama iko mwanaume mjanja mwenye hata jina yake hajui ni jamaa baba yake alimuuliza wewe ni nani akasema yeye ni sawa 
Kila mahali jamaa alienda kuna siku alisema jina yake ya ukweli. Siku iliumana mbaya ndio Mungu aliuliza wewe who are you? He says my name is what? The day he said the truth about his name is the day the Lord blessed him and changed his name. So he's been carrying that luggage for many years a young man who's not married now marries two women takes house girls eh kaliowa mpaka unafikiria watu walianza kuwa wafanyikazi jana kitu ilianza kitambo zana wafanyikazi wafanyikazi wa nyumba wakamzalia watoto na wanahesabika watoto kumi na wawili wa nani wa Jacob nilikwambia mtoto ya mwanaume ni mtoto yake Ni ile tu ametoka kwa ndoa ambayo sio halali. Lakini mtoto hajui ndoa halali na ndoa isiyokuwa nini. Anajua huyu ni baba yangu na huyu ni nani? Hiyo story nyingine ni yenu huko nje. Mtasota, mtaona vile mnasota. Unaona vitu tunaikanga watoto wetu. Ni kama mtoto atokee hapa, hapa tu hapa, akitokea hapa sasa mimi nimefika. Unatafuta nani? Tafuta first elder. Anaitwa nani? Anaelda anaitwa Elda Nyaberi. Unamjua hapana. Ni simjui ni mambo tu ana anaomba kwa hii kanisa. Na we ni nani? Ni mambo tu ni yeye ni baba yangu. Head deacon kwanza anasema ngoja kidogo. Bado anataka kusambaza. Eh anataka kusambaza hiyo ruma kwanza vizuri. Nitie elder nani? Iko kitu hapa inaweza chafua jina ya elder. Anafikiria na ikondeni na kumbe ana a, a, a child does not know anything save the fact that this is my mother this is my even when a father is a drunkard hata mukosane na bibi yako there is no day you will convince a child against their father or against their mother at the end of the day they know this is my mother this is my father iko mtoto baba alikuwa mlevi chakari amesumbua mama miaka mingi so the lord blesses him and so he sends his parents money home and one day he says his mother told him ustumie baba yako pesa tikwa ni ataenda kulewa naye kaambia mama sikiza baba yangu namtumia pesa si eti aende kulewa mimi namtumia pesa kama mtoto ya kitu ataamua kufanyia ni shauri ya shauri yake Tulifika aje hapo? Tulikuwa tulikuwa tunaongea juu ya Jacobs ndio. Ameenda akitoroka ndugu yake anatafuta yeye anataka kumuua. Amerudi kwa anko yake. Eh? Akapenda msichana hapo ya pili. Hmm? Akapenda msichana ya pili. Kafanya miaka ngapi? Saba. Akapewa wa? Kwanza. Rachel Rachel was not Rachel was a squint. You know a squint? A squint ni hao watu akikuangalia unadhani akuoni unamwambia si uniangalia na kwambia nakuangalia. No? Macho yao iko hmm. So she didn't have the beauty to to, to you know for a man that man would like this is beautiful now. If anything beauty they say lies in the eyes of Kiambia Kiambia mtu eti bibi yake si mwe sio mrembo yeye ndiye anajua urembo iko kwa kwa bibi yake We pia unajua hiyo yako unaona ni mzuri yao ni kitu hapo Kuna kitu anaona Anaona sura mbaya sana Ile yake ndiye ana najua Yeye ndiye anajua nini iko hapo ndani So he deceived his brother. He was also done what? I've always wondered how do you sleep with a woman a whole night without knowing ni nani? Yuki tuna mekikisa school. Eh labda walikuwa wamenyamaza usiku, sijui. Ni angeongea angejua si ndio? 
hapo tunaenda sasa mbali hapo wakale ukiongea hapo watasema huyu ana heshima na watanipigia simu waseme niko na shida kwa hiki kitu fulani hapo so walks another seven years has two two women added two house girls as children as workers Jacob's house is big wamekosana na father in law hawezi ishi hapo tena na bibi mmoja bibi mmoja ni mchawi hii msichana ndogo hii hii ilikuwa mchawi hii because si ndio ilibeba vinyago ni nini miungu walibeba idols za nani Unajua wakati naambia watu iko msichana utawao udhani ni msichana ako sawa. Utapata ni yule ana inherit uchawi ya kwa because uchawi you you pass it. Ya mut, mut, boma, boma ya mchawi akijua uh, anaenda kukufa. Hata before ajue they always prepare someone that will take over. And at times you are unlucky, you land on a woman who's an inheritor of witchcraft. I tell you, you are a miserable man your whole life you inherit all the curses si e boma ya ya hii jamaa kwa boma boma bibi ine niite tu loosely bibi ine sababu mabibi ingine si bibi mabibi ingine ni ni the bible does not call them wives i'm offending some people but that is a reality so hii mabibi ingine Tunaona vile inaitwa inaima bibi ingine. So iko bibi ine. Toto pia iko hapo. Vita pia iko. Ya mabibi. Competition ya kuzaa pia pia iko. Yule anaona anaenda kumpita na watoto, anamsukumia ye mfanyakazi. Niongezee hiyo. Yaani huyu jamaa alikuwa mtu ana mali anaweka kichwa yake. Hakuna. Na bibi ingine pia ni ya, ni ya mchawi. Wakati watu wanasema tuombe. Yeye amekimbia Tanzania. Jamani tuombe. Ako kwa wadigo. Eh hakuna kitu kingine anafikiria? Yeye yeah, kitu anafikiria ni vile nitamaliza watu yo. Nibaki bibi peke yake. So wakakosana na baba, wakatoroka kama baba hajui, akawakimbiza. It's a whole mess in Jacob's life. Unajua wanatoroka hapa na kule anaenda pia ni mahali iko kifu. Sababu ndugu yake na kufanya nini? Na mgoja. I tell you Jacob's situation needed God's intervention. If God was not going to intervene, that man was going to die either way. Just the pressure, the stress, the depression. It's not easy being a polygamist. You and I know what is in our homes where there's polygamy. Na ikipata bibi ingine aijui Mungu ati wote wanataka kuanza ku compete kwa waganga. Ai. Isi tunasema mwanaume anakuwa richara. What is richara? Richara anakuwa. Hmm? Mchinga tu. Yeah, because you're manipulated and controlled by forces of what? Darkness. Pulling you either side. You'd rather have a man pulled kwa shetani na mwingine na pull yeye kwa nani? Kwa Mungu. Kuliko wote wakipuli yeye wapi? He wants to find peace with God. He realizes the only person that can sort me out here is who? It's God. And at one point, he sent to everyone, Nini enda? Mimi na baki na nani? Mungu. Those are the moments you need, personal moments with God. Yeah, hata kama unaomba kama familia na unaomba na mzee yako, tafuta maombi yenye unafanya peke yako. Peke yako. Na hata kiwatuma, aliwapanga Aliwapanga in such a way yule alipenda ndiye aliweka wapi 
mtu asikudanganye uende kwa bwana ya mtu ukifikiri hata atakupenda Sijui ile roho ya kupenda na kuanga hapa ama hapo. Hii mimi najua ni ya damu. Hii inapiga damu. Ya kupenda I think iko hapo. Talk to all these men. They'll tell you no man can love two two women but can have fun with more than one woman. No man can love what? But can have fun with more than what? Na kuambia watakwambia hata tukiweka hapa ni lile tu mmoja ni ile sitaki kuita mmoja anaweza ashangaa kwani ni namjua aje hivi sana Akieti kwa tu hapa awekewe bibi yake yule bibi yake yule bibi yake mwenye ana shape yule kabisa ana akiangalia tu vizuri anajua mahali wametoka na huyu mama alikuwa na shape hapo awali ni watoto hii sita wamezaa kama hii yangu niko na sita ndiye imefanya yeye anakaa hivi akiwekewa tu bibi yake hapo na aekewe malaya hapo Mwenye wanakimbizana na yeye kila siku. I swear to you, he will never pick on the prostitute. Never. Never. Hiyo akili yake hiyo ya ukahaba hiyo. Hiyo. Hiyo itamwambia tu yenyewe huyu <laughs> nayo ndio bibi yake. Utabaki hapo, utabaki hapo na hiyo urembo yako. Utabaki hapo na hiyo urembo yako. Kuna wambianga iki kulazimisha uende kwa mume wa mtu wacha kujikaza sana enda kama refugee hapo ni kwa wenye usiende yani hata ukituambia tukuje tuombe kwa nyumba yako unasema niombe niombe mzee wangu anapotea ni mtu anaweza potea hata mwaka mmoja ndiye arudi ukimuuliza anaenda wapi na kuangalia mara mbili kwanza. Ajui hata yeye aseme anaenda wapi? Sema ako na mwanamke mwingine. Bibi yake ndio. Wewe ndio wa kwanza hapana. So we ni wa pili. Yaani una, unataka bwana ya mtu kuombe bwana ya mtu akuje akwamilia. Yaani kama ukujua hakuna bibi Hapo ndio tunakosana mpaka uwezi rudi kwangu tena. Nakupatia tu neno moja nikwambie mama hapa kuna kitu tunaomba nataka nikwambie ukweli. Uko kwa bwana ya nani? Kwa mwingine aliniambia but pastor yule yule hata ukiangalia ana mbele ana nyuma anapenda vitu ya dunia. Eh, hiyo ndio bibi ya? Hiyo hiyo. Hiyo. Anaweza kuwa anapenda vitu ya dunia lakini anajua kwa roho yake huyu ni mume wa panga kapanga kapanga kaenda kupiga vita na Mungu Unajua alitangulia sa familia ya wafanyikazi Si ndiye alitanguliza Wakikufa waendange wakifanya nini Wakabaki na hii yenye alipenda Hii michawi ndiye alibaki nayo Kaweka nyuma Na Mungu ni nani Mungu atakuambia hii watoto yote ni wa wako So wakapigana na Mungu hiyo usiku wakapigana wakapigana finally God granted his wish and the blessing he received was not wealth the blessing Jacob wanted was reconciliation with his brother forgiveness for his own sin and the Lord gave it to him and they made peace with his brother and when they made peace with his brother the altar he erected at el el what el uh, that, that name is hard el el elohi was to thank god for that favor and then when he thought he had just created peace with his brother i am just beginning to settle boom simeon and levi butchered a whole community and now he was scared I've been a man on the run. I'm now again a man on the run. And he talks to his God. And the Lord tells him, "Okay, now what you do? Go to where? To Bethel. And when you go there, you're going to dwell there. And as you dwell there, build a, a what? So Jacob knows he's carrying baggage and luggage that he must move with 
to go and worship who? God. And he must prepare his people. So as he prepares his people, listen to me, my brother, my sister. Leo tutakosana tu ni kuambie mapema. Lakini utasaidika. And Jacob said to his household, household, waka wafanya kazi yote. And to all who were with him, kila mtu, put away the foreign gods that are among you. He's preparing them for worship. Put away what? Hey, sini naonge na nyinyi. Ama nasoma vitu vi peke yangu. Put away what? The foreign gods that are among you. Purify your what? Selves. And change your what? We'll get back there. Just put your finger there. Verse 3. Then let us arise. And he's preparing them on how you approach God. Then let us arise and go up to Bethel. And I will make an altar there to God who answered me in the day of my distress and has been with me in the way which I have gone. So basically what he's saying, we are not going until you put away all strange gods, until you change your garment, until you cleanse yourselves. At Wendy? Kisha fanya yu vitu yote ndetura fanya? Because he knows we are going to meet with who? See, you remember I said when you build an altar to the Lord, you summon his what? His presence. Verse 4. So they gave Jacob all the what? Foreign gods. Which were in their what? Hands. And the Earrings, which were in their what? Ears. And Jacob hid them under the terebin tree, tree, which was by Shechem. We're moving slowly. Number one, as he prepares to approach God, he told them, put away all the foreign gods. Question, which were the foreign gods? Which were the foreign gods? Someone is murmuring. What are you saying? Kweli, umesoma na sisi biblia kweli. See, and he gave, and they gave him all the strange gods that were in their hands. And the what? Basically all honor. Ornaments. So, when, when, when you put on bangles, and and how do you call this thing? What whatever, whether it's pin or ring or 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 or, or piglet, this thing here, this thing they put on the on the on the on, on the pig, sorry. Whatever you want to call it, whether it's a stud, it doesn't matter the size. Whether it's just the size of a tip, a dot, tip, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All the 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 necklaces that you put on to work, but when you come for choir practice, you remove them at the gate. All the anklets. Hii umeweka hapa kwa kitovu. Ile umeweka kwa ulitaka taka yote. Ambayo mungu haku kuumba nae. I eat with ornaments. In I a strange word. And the other, he says, you should not have any other God be. That tells you when you have those things, you have strange gods. So what happens? The Lord cannot manifest his presence. He can't. The Lord cannot manifest his presence where there are strange gods. That is why when they went into Canaan, he told them, destroy all altars, all idols, Hata ring, say, najuu nataku niambia niandoa. Lazima uweke ndo ujue uliolewa. 
Hii wanaume inalala hapa nje na bibi za watu na imevaa ring. Hii kitu waifungwe na ring. Fungwa na akili. Lazima tufike mahali kitu inatuendesha ni kichwa sio huku chini. Eti wewe ni matako na huku mbele ndio inaendesha kichwa yako. Kichwa yako ndio inafaa iendeshe huku chini. Hii takataka yote yote The Lord can never manifest his presence where there are strange gods. You remember when they were going to Canaan? He told them if I go with you I will consume you. And Moses asked, "Why?" And he told them, "I waambie watoe nini? All ornaments, watoe yote, watoe yote. Bure nimehama na alihama akawaache. Musa alienda kamjengea nyumba nje ya kambi akasema huko ndio hawezi kaa kati ya watu wamevaa earrings hawezi kaa kati ya watu wamevaa bangles wamevaa necklace eti wanaongeza umaridadi nikuulize swali wewe mwanamke saa hii uzae mtoto mimba iko wapi mama amebeba mimba hapa hivi saa hii uzae mimba hapa mtrh ni mtrh utoe tu mtoto uchomeo umesukuma pe ametoka amevaa earring ametoka amevaa wewe mtoto unachukua unachukua Ako na earrings na necklace. Eh? Huyo mtoto unachukua. Anakushtua. Hii kitu hii hii si mwanadamu. Hii ni mimba ya Lucifer. That, that is the same shock that God has when he sees his children. Because this is not his creation. It is not It's not a small thing to even come to church with those things. It's not a small thing. Not even in church. Every, every it, if it does not fit church, it doesn't fit everywhere. Particularly when you know you are the redeemed of the Lord. It doesn't. Allow me stretch the list and it will hurt you. Whether it is lipstick, whether it is nail polish, whether it is eye pencil, whether it is makeup. Makeup is a Jezebel spirit. It is Jezebel that used to paint her what? Her face. It was a Je Jezebel spirit. Women having to, wanting to look yellow. Na muangalia marambili na sema, uko ama uko ni mtu ama si mtu whether it is synthetic hair do you know synthetic hair wig weave braids mama ite bindongo kwa na taru nakusaidia because you're carrying demonic power not only on yourself but in your house your territory is marked as demonic territory do you know why lejo wanasimamisha bendera na hizi kanisa zingine is a territory they're marking for those spirits that they believe they talked so when they roam they know this is our place so when you have those things you're marking your territory as a territory for the devil he knows iko vitu yetu wapi hapa hapa iko vitu yetu na iko tu kwa nyumba imebebwa mpaka kwa mwili mtu ameweka kwa nywele miezi tatu anafanya tu spray chiu, 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 chiu. anapaka vitu aoshi ananyeshewa anaswe nyi usafai waje na hiyo kitu kwanza sasa hivi umeweka kitambacho Yaani nyinyi msoe tama ni nini? Hata wiki mbili inatosha hiyo kitu kunuka. Mbaya. Afu no mzee yangu anitaki ataki kulala karibu. Unalalaje na nywele nanuka mavi? Kilo moja. Aje sasa. Na utapata ni mwanamke ya kunywa maji. Sasa sweti yake ni ile 
Shiona wale watu wanatoa sweti na nuka kunuka. Na anaitolea mpaka kwa kichwa. Ha? Ati akiamka ni usho, uso peke yake anafanya. Ana hapa 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 ni dustbin. Iko mbaya imeoza hata yeye akifanya hivi, atoe kucha hivi, anafanya vitu uchafu. Inawasha. Ngoja kidogo. Alafu unataka kuweka hiyo kichwa na kwa pilo. Unataka kuweka kichwa yako kwa kifua ya mtoto ya mtu. Na nywele imekaa wiki mbili ijaona maji. Sitaki kuongeza, sitaki kuzungumzia ile ya miezi tatu. Nywele ijaona maji. Na, nataka ujaribu tujiulize tu. I hope no one is offended. We are just reasoning like people who have gone to school, not people who have Christ. Just, just school, school. Tumefika PP2. Si hata class 1. Tumefika PP2. Nataka ulale tu siku mbili bila kuoga mwanamke. Siku ngapi? Bila kufanya nini? Kuoga. Ba, bado wewe ni mwanadamu. Na nuka. Hata mzee yake atakwambia si si uoge kitu, si uoge leo. Sembuse hii nywele. Hii maji wakati unapitisha kwa mili, unapitisha kuanzia juu mpaka wapi? Hata uweke spray na kaje, uwe hakuna ah, unanuka bottom line. Wacha kusumbua vijana ya watu. Mama White says the head should ever be kept cool. That is not as important to me as the fact that what you're keeping on yourself is an item that belongs to who? To the devil. And you want to use it to approach who? God. He will never show up. Never. Those are the moment someone struggles to pray and tells you, lesson ni kisomanga hata siski. Unafikiri watu wanasomanga ati wanasikia? Mtu wanafanya watu wanasikia ni nani? Ni roho. Na sasa kama uko na vitu ya shetani, roho anaingiaje? The temple, this temple is this body is the temple of the what? Of the spirit. How do you want the spirit to dwell together with other gods? It doesn't. So you read Mama White says elsewhere that these things we put on the hair they prevent you from discerning sacred things. Sacred things are spiritually. I mean, spiritual things are spiritually. Discern. So you lack discernment, and you cannot discern sacred things simply because of. Vitu ya shilingi yamsin. Siju mi atatu, siju elufungab. Ah. Eti urembo. Siku dangani yako nanga urembo ap. Akuna. The day the Lord will give you a spiritual eyes, you will detest these things to the core. You just see it and it disgusts you. You'll see it in its true picture. And when I see some of us, paka watoto wadogo, kame wako na vitu. Kata ushindwe ni yeke mtoto walale style gun, hapo imefungwa kitu, beads. Hapo imefungwa. Nyumba inataka kuomba. Mama hako na vitu ya shetani. Wasichana yake watatu hiko na vitu ya shetani. Buwana hako na vitu. Yee! Mungu natokea wapi kwa yonyo. Jacob says, tunaenda kukutana na mungu. Nipe miungu yo. Wake up. We have also grown from there. Also. I am a professional hairdresser, so I don't speak because you think I cannot. I'm a professional hairdresser. That once worked in high-end salons. So I know matters hair. It's not that I can't do my hair. 
I'm on payroll, and I make my own money elsewhere, so I can make my head. But when I decided, or matter, when, when, I, when I learned that I cannot get a higher anointing, I, I cannot be, Lord, lift me up and I shall do what? I shall start. I, I, cannot, I cannot go beyond where I am in my spiritual life simply because the things I'm holding on to. And the Lord is saying, I'm willing to go with you, but I can't because you've refused to let go what? This thing, I had to let go. So when someone sits somewhere and say, she's a powerful preacher, there are things we have had to let what? Go for God to use us. We have had to be totally sold out to God for God to use us. And today in my house, we have tried to get rid of anything that does not glorify God's name. I was only left with something called the TV. Fokina hmm? Frozen. Hmm? And my husband is kissy, but with low spirit. Okay? So our TV spans almost the whole wall. The big one. Big one that when we visit someone, we struggle to, to, to because we're used to just opening our eyes big. <coughs> but when we learned this slowly by slowly together with our children, one day we came home with my husband and they said, we don't want the TV anymore. They decided on their own. And today, if you come to my living room, it's not there. I'm using it in my bedroom for my office issues. My husband uses it as a big screen for coding. It takes effort. You must be intentional, deliberate, and then the Lord gives you the power to do it. That is why when you hear me before I preach asking God to please just come down, I'm just pleading because I know he can choose not to, based on all these things that are on our heads here, if it ought to be. He can choose not. And that is why many of our churches are very cold. It's not cold because, because people are not strong. The strength is not in man. What, what, what makes a church warm is the presence of heaven. What makes music powerful is that angels can join in the strain. But you see, they cannot. Because the environment does not what? Favor them. So I always struggle with God. And I tell him, if you hear me pray, heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain you. How much less this place? And if he must come down, he told Israel, if I continue working with you, I will consume you because of these things you're having. So he chooses. He knows, I really want to come down here. But if I come, he will consume all of us. So you'd rather stay away. Stay away. Can you imagine how church would be when we decide to get rid of everything that is ungodly? I want you to imagine the presence of heaven in this church. No one would want to go home. Everyone will come here by seven, six. People will be here because they know the experience they have when they come. They know. No one. He watu yote unasema, oh, mukienda kazini, munaenda by sambili. Uko wanalipu wa mshara. Ndiyo mana wanaenda by sambili. Hapa hakuna mshara. Hapa wakikuja wanambiwa, tawa pesa ya, sijui nani alikofa, sijui, sijui tujenge wapi. 
sijui makambi imefika hiyo vitu si mbaya huko wanaenda saa mbili sababu unajua iko pesa nalipo hapa hawe, hapa huwezi kuja mwezi mwarakisha na anakuja kutoa pesa yake na Mungu pia yuko akikuja analala ni matangazo mre So it's not enough to build an altar for the Lord today today Una hivi vitu tumeweka kwenye nywele talk to God Vitu iko kwa makuchi kwa mdomo taka taka yot Mbia Mungu apewe nguvu get rid of it You come tell me if the experience is the same different Hata si tumetoka huko is a work God has with everyone. And is the one that works both to will and to do his good pleasure. He only needs a heart that is saying, God, I submit to your work, to your power. Do as you please. I takile nasema oh, ati kwani kwani nywele inahusikana aje na na maneno ya kiroho? Number one, hasomi hata Biblia sasa hataweza jua. Na hata hiyo Biblia hasomi si eti hataki kusoma sababu uko na vitu ya shetani tayari amekunyang'anya nguvu mpaka ya kuomba. Is that time you, you struggle to pray? Ama ukipata nafasi ya kuomba unaja, unaanza unaona ni kama nimeomba kweli ama sijaomba. Lakini niliambia Mungu nini ya ukweli? Even you you lift your you lift your your knees you feel like, did, did, did I even talk to God in the first place what, what did I even say I maombi imefika kweli tena unaanza ukishindwa kabisa unasema pastor kitu imenifinya hapa niombe chances are you are adorned in the things of the world that belong to the world of darkness just get rid of it where God manifests his presence you will experience it it's not an imagination you will experience you will and then it tells them purify yourselves it's time we confess our sins and purified ourselves from all outward impurity the bible says the prayer of a righteous man availeth much you cannot convince me you are an ordained pastor or an ordained elder and convince me that you can dedicate my child and they are blessed ha pana hiyo hiyo injili nitatafuta mali nyingine eti utoke utoke kwa club usiku elder ordained kwa club na wamama uingie kwako saa satisa asubuhi uoge ukuje kanisani kusema happy saba alafu nikupatie mtoto yangu dedicate alafu niko convinced eti hiyo maombi ilifika the prayer of a righteous man availed much not every man that prays his prayers are heard let no one lie to you and so we are going to approach god we are going to make our prayers jacob is saying cleanse your what yourselves is the same thing israel was told when they were approaching jericho the lord told them tell israel to cleanse themselves struggling with masturbation if you are a married man married woman struggling with masturbation all the secret sin having sex with yourself it's called solo sex 
struggling with pornography. It's killing spouses out here. And I've always told, told, told those that I can't. Sex is not an art that you must be taught out here. Someone to tell you, oh, buy this book, 101 styles. But what an ikupede we kumi utaweza tatano. And you see couples watching pornography in the name of trying to learn how to get comfortable when getting intimate. What they didn't know is as they watch porn, porn artists are never in their right senses. They are under the influence of drugs. And then you introduce funny things in your house, anal sex, oral sex, and then before you know it, because your partner cannot perform as you watched with her, you become an, ad an addict of what? Now you're struggling to pull out. And where uh, any porn addict cannot miss masturbation, the two go together. And when it becomes too much, you get into drug addiction. Just to keep those things off your head. Don't pretend. Tell God I have this thing weighing me down. Iko skat ikipika, mimi siangalia ngi sura, mimi bora nimeona ni skat. Siangali sura, siangali mwaka, awe mtoto, awe rika yangu, awe mama yangu, awe relative. Yaani kitu imekuweka, huwezi tulia. Bora tu umeona skat, bora umeona skat. Bora tu umeona skat. Wewe umeiva. Bora tu umeona skat. Kula pesa ya mungu, kula mali ya mungu. Iko watu wamepata kazi, ngao za juu, iko mtu waliua. Ndiya songe hapa. Hata bibi yake ya juu, kuna niye na juu na wale waliua pamoja. Jacob is telling his house, cleanse your what? When we are approaching God, put away all gods, let's confess our sin. Cleansing yourself means there is a sin that you confess but you don't repent. These are two different things. People have confessed sins but are unable to do it. Because Repentance must issue in a lifestyle. I was a gossiper. I have confessed God for sure. Hii mdomo yangu itanipeleka mahali mbaya. Unawekelea mtu kitu hata ukiulizwa hata we mwenyewe uwezi uwezi jidefend you cannot. Ukisengenya mtu sengenya ile hata ukiulizwa unaweza mwambia asa hiyo kitu kidogo ndio inakukasirisha. Siseme kitu yenye hata ukiulizwa hata we unaanza kupanga kisa ntasemaje. When people repent, it shows in their lifestyle. Wame wa? Yamani, what is it you're struggling with? What is it? Kelele kwa nyumba? Ni kelele kwa nyumba? Yani hii nyumba yenu watu waongeangi na sauti tu nyororo. Hapana. Kila mtu wako hapo. Hapo. Hapo kila mtu, kila mtu wako. Kuanzia baba paka mama. Ayo mwisho. Sisi
what is it? What, what is it? And then it tells him, change your what? Your garments. Badilisha nini? Iko nguo uwezi enda nayo mbele ya nani? Hakuna. Iko nguo, iko nguo, iko nguo. Iko nguo. Ukiona umevaa nguo unafunika na lesu. Iyo nguo uwezi enda nayo mbele ya nani? Ni, ni nini na ongelesha? Kiona umeka. Na hata kili yako ikakuambia yenyewe wacha niweke nini? Iko shida. Tuna tunasikizana. Tuna Konguo atuwezi. Sasa hii tukisema tukisema ore tiorezo. Tukisema resident wetu wanakuja. Huh? Ruto kutusaidia ku, kumaliza kujenga ni anakuja mchango hiyo sabato nataka uniambie wa, watu watavaaje hii elders yote hata yenye ina tai tapata yote hiyo siku kila mtu ana struggle kuwa on due kila mtu anataka tu opportunity ya kuenda pulpit party hiyo Iyo siku kila mtu wants to look their best. Even women will dress decent. Every woman is struggling to serve high table. Dress decent. You'll not come to God in these things we come with. It's the other day I learned, and I'm also growing in this. Ellen White says, we cannot go to church with the clothes we use in the course of the what? The week. There must be a Sabbath suit. I'm struggling with that in my house. And I told God, "Eh, hey, basi nataka pesa mingi, hapana si pesa mingi." God is it's all about extravagance, it's about simplicity. Just knowing Sabbath is special. I'm meeting with the Creator. Hii ni nguo naenda kukutana nayo na nani? Na Mungu. Hii hii nguo unakutana nayo na Mungu uweze vana kwenda kwenda kwa ofisi. But because it has never dawned in our conscience that we are coming to meet who? Lord Saying guys, change your what? We cannot show up before the Lord with these things we are putting up. Niulize tu kwa kipole. Kipole tu. Ya father pesa. Niulize tu kwa kipole. Tukijiangalia hivi vile tumekaa hapa ndani. Do you think the Lord would be pleased to manifest his presence? Do you think Ah. Uh-huh. Do you think so? That is why many times we show up in church and go back worse than we did what? Because the Lord didn't visit. He knows if he visit, he will consume all of us. So he would rather not. But just watch and see how his children are getting lost. So it's not just about raising an altar. It's about knowing how to approach him on that altar. Because it is him we are meeting. And then it says, So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods which were in their hands and the earrings which were in their ears and Jacob hid them under the terebinth tree which was by Shechem. Listen to verse 5. And they ju- wakati walifanya hivi to yot, the Bible says, and they did what? They journeyed and that listen, 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 listen. Uh, tuko pamoja. Praise the Lord. Uh, tuko pamoja. Praise the Lord. Listen what happened. When they learned how to approach God, listen to what they happened. And they journeyed and the terror of God was upon the cities that were all around them. And they did not pursue the sons of who? Remember, remember, Jacob wakati Levi na, 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 Levi, Levi na Simeon. Waliua Shechemites. Let me just go back to what the father said. Wakati waliua. Well, who knows that where we can locate that, that verse? Um, verse 30, is it? Yes. 
Then Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You have troubled me by making me obnoxious. To be obnoxious is to stink. By making me stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites, Perizzites. And since I am few in number, Tuko wachacha jamani watoto wangu. I am few in number. They will gather themselves together against me and kill me. Let me ask you, if you go in a foreign land and kill people there, wanakuangalia tu wanacheka, they know this is an enemy. Uyu lazima tukuje pamoja, tufanya nini? Tumalize. But look at what they did. Just by preparing themselves to go and meet with the Lord. Took away all gods. Changed their garments. Cleansed themselves. The Bible says the terror of the Lord was upon them. The cities that no one dared come what? Come close. No one. That terror means simply the presence of the Lord was with what? With them. Watu wakiangalia wanaona watu. And there are very few. There are very few. But no city could come close. Because God was with them. Unaona itabia tunahama kwetu. Tukienda kujenga kwengine tunawagopa uchawi. It tells you, you do not know the God you are doing what? The terror of God is not yet upon. Hakuna dunia hii mahali ya kuna ujawi. Iko kila mahali. Haka wakitaka kukuloketi, kutoka huko kujaluoni penye umetoroka. Uka kuja kujenga ukambani. Waki kutaka, wata kupata. The only way to survive is to make sure you have hidden yourself in God. Waki kuangalea hivi wanaza ngoja. Ule ni nani? Kale kamama kana kaka chawi. Inaka hiko mganga na indanga kufanya nini? Mganga wake yako na nguvu kushinda wetu. Hakuna mganga atambia mutu wati unaomba mungu. Iko mganga. There is no rich doctor that will tell their client. Eti ya meshindu wa sababu unaomba mungu. Alafu watoe wapi customer? Friends, I wish you knew the experience of walking with God and experiencing His presence real in your life. You become a terror to the world. No one comes close. No one. And these are the women I've always taught. If you think you have a husband who's a drunkard, huh? And I say, oh, sasa nikaya nipige nikufe. That is a demon. A demon of drinking. Kama unajua, auna usiano na mungu, beba vitu yako enda kwe, labu watapiga wea kufe. Kama unajua uyu mungu vile nini na mujua. The terror you pose to the drunkard, he cannot even lift his hand. He can't. He comes to his house drunk, anapiga tuke lele hapo mpaka kwa gate, akifika, natulia. Nguvu yenye ikuwa yu compound. Iyo pepo ya, pepo ya pombe yezi rusu, itawale. It submits to the power of who? Of God. And that is why I keep on telling people, marriage is a spiritual warfare. If you're not built spiritually, don't dare a man to beat you. He will kill you. And they ask me, should I go? And I tell them, go, go if you do not know the God of the universe. Go. If you have no relationship with him, you've never experienced his power, please go, because you will die. Nafu utaweka kwa Facebook, oh, my husband, we tuta comment, uzeme, does it have to come up to this point? Oh, si kwa nini wishi na mtoto ya mutu upige hivi? Mi ni takucheka, ni wame pigu hata ungekufu. Make sure you know this God. Not a bunch of facts about him, but you are in an intimate relationship with him, one which is reciprocal, because it means the power that reigns within you there is no demonic power that can come close. And those are the women that survive marriage. They survive marriage. And then you ask, oh, kalivumilia. Aka kuvumilia, na ukimuona, 
ukimwona kako na raha paka unajiuliza yule mama naishinge aje na yule mtu ah nguvu zake zinatoka kwa nani yani tena kuna amani asumbuki unasumbuka oh bwana yake ni mlevi anatembea na wanawake akiingia hapa kanisani na gari yake na watoto wake alafu unasema kana vumilia tu kana fichi avumili hafichi ako chonjo ako na amani nguvu zake anatoa kwa nani kwa Mungu friends i don't know whether i'm saying things you don't understand i'm sharing with you things i experience but make me who i am today hii vitu ni ya dunia sio mbona unangangana naye kuna mahali nakupeleka if anything it pulls you away from who god the things of earth will dim and lose their what if we recall they only borrowed for a what for a while ni kitu ya saa hii ukijua tu ni ya hapa hata utatupa kesho hata si kesho utatupa jana ukijua kuna mahali nakupeleka haki hakuna hakuna hii urembo tuko nayo ni ya mapepo na kitu kingine ni urembo umetengenezwa with the world of darkness it doesn't even last for long that's it why should you load your hair with things that add extra weight cut your hairline until it reaches here so now i'm asking have you been investing in beauty or ugliness begin to suffer hair loss do you have boldness what for what for mama na tumewacha kazi muhimu kwa nyumba yani saa ingine nikiangalia tu nyumba yangu nasema si niwache hii mahubiri ni chunga hii nyumba yangu the, the, the amount of work in a homestead is called home economics watoto ya Mungu if you understood what can be generated from a proper home you wouldn't even wish employment and don't misquote me I'm not asking anyone to not to be employed i'm saying i pray the lord gives you the eyes to see what he sees we will not run around the world chasing nothing we will not so when people tell me pastor please talk to our children about lgbtq i have nothing to say to your children but i have something to say to you because you 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 now you now giving me your luggage which i cannot handle Advice. when someone calls you and says i've been married 17 years i just noticed two years ago my husband is gay two years ago and i'm like mama this thing didn't start two years ago it started law you married a gay man but it just came into into the open two years ago and you want how do we help our children Any child you hold in your hand remember will be someone's husband or someone's what Just be careful as I struggle to raise mine in the Lord struggle to raise your son in the what so that when they meet to sivutane hapa mbele mimi sitaki kesi mistake sitaki tukosane na wewe kama cholera eti unatetea mtoto wako na tetea wangu hapana hiyo biashara siwezi I've been in marriage right now 19 years there's no single day I have had kis tunamalizana na mokoro yangu watu wanga okay sitaki kis idio mami ajui hata tunakula nini amekaa tu yani amekaa akili yake hata ifikiri yani hata ana mbele you know huyo ni mtoto mvulana msichana yako ameshadi because those are the children we are raising those are the children we are raising 
children that cannot think. They can't. They can't. Women. I'm asking you, what are you raising? And particularly for our sons. I need to raise strong daughters that can raise strong children. I need to raise strong sons that can take care of good families. So when you make noise out here about men, remember you have a son. Usifungwe mdomo. Bure tu. Na huko na watoto wavulana kwa nyumba. Hivi tu unapeleka pole pole. I have a son that I wouldn't want to turn out to be a cabbage at 18 years but ana nitisha pesa ya kunyoa how now how? how does an 18 year old ask me for money to shave how how na kazi ya mjengo iko kila mahali ha unaanzaje kwenye my daughter cleared form 4 last year i tell her mama if you need anything from me mfanye kazi ndio ninapeleka wapi natoa and he told me kazi 2 months to exams and i said i will struggle alone so that as she does exams at the back of her mind she knows hakuna mfanye kazi kwe and i told her unamaliza tu paper yako hivi ah niko na relief niko na mfanye kazi amalza form 4 Mr. Kistress, stuck. Ati nichunge watoto 18 and above. Nichunge kama vinye nachunga umu nye nikonayo wa 10 months. Ay, pana. Kwanza mimi wako sit. Tunakimbizana. Nikianza kuosha watoto yangu, nafikiria tunawasha mangue ya wiki moja. <coughs> ya, yeah, hao ni watoto. Nasugua mbako nasema, eh, ngoja, nyinyi ngojeni kwanza. Wacha ni kunyue maji. So nikianza kulea watoto wenye wawezi fikiria ati nataka kufikiria on behalf of watoto ngapi sit ai siwezi niambia mama eh fanya kazi ya menda we fanya tu exam sina shida hata usiguze kazi fanya tu exam ukimaliza wendi una nashika hapa mimi naenda naenda nje kazi and she need to date this is now month what month uh, Oh, month five. This is month five. She, she, she's, she's the house girl in my house. And I know she can hear me, but she knows. Niliambia mimi, at least saidi kuna mfanyo kazi mwenye malza fo. Mfo amenda shule, anasema kizungu. Uyo mfanyo kazi, uneza pata mfanyo kazi kama uyo wabi. No pata wabi. And, and I operate in my house like I don't know anything. Mimi nikirudi yani amkufua Nauliza amkufua Hii nyumba inakaje Sunday I'm on mission Au kwenda soko So she knows she knows if mommy is leaving Sunday morning she knows atamka asubuhi Aniambie ndio hiyo budget ya chakula ya wiki mzima And I leave her the money She shops every Sunday food for the whole week Atakimbia sokoni inaitwa kibuye atakimbia kimbia kibuye alet za kuboil a boil aweke fridge at 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 because I know what life out here is. I know. Imaisha nyi inawakali raisi. So why would I raise my child as if things are easy? Wakifika huko, wanakutana ikongumu. Wawajue, wajulie tuyo ugumi wapi. And they know all my children know, provided you have reached the age where you can put your hand in the plate and take to your mouth. He who does not work, does not work. Hapo, iyo, 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 iyo,
weka na utoe na unajua mahali mdomo iko au umetosha kufanya kazi nyumba yako is how we operate the follower is a class 5 the follower is a class 5 and yeye ndio baby sitter wa kuosha vyombo taka taka they know until they say hata kunanga saa ya kucheza ukishacheza vyombo inajiosha kwa kwa sing ah bana wewe osha vyombo maliza kazi yako saa ya kucheza iko na saa ya kufanya kazi iko mpaka ujipange bure utakuwa punda kwa nyumba yako what they know they know they are not old as you may think grade 5 grade 3 and then they are twins for grade 1 they work So I struggle like this for them to meet some funny boy from your house. Ah, hiyo nitaambia Mungu kuja haraka. Mimi hii maneno ya ndoa sioni. I want to rest my case. And see how to go home now. So Jacob came to lose that is Bethel which is in the land of Canaan he and all the people who were with him and he built an altar there and called the place El Bethel because there God appeared to him when he fled from the face of his brother I've told you what I can tell you take it live it Take it. Leave it. Allow me entertain a few comments and questions. A few comments and questions. Let me see the hands that have questions because if one starts they will all shoot up we will not finish. And I'm counting and if there's none there's none. Eh hey, ah watu wa watu wa online wanakuanga wapi? Are dreads also satanic, very satanic. Natural ones it doesn't matter. Should we st- why I'm saying this I have an experience with deliverance prayers okay and, and demons at times would refuse to come they say ako na vitu yeye na hiyo vitu ukiona ni dreads mtu wako nayo the times we cut the minute you cut the person is done what delivered I'm saying I'm saying whatever you want to call natural you want to call what I know people have seen you on social media with matutas those are days we didn't know but we are grow growing just like any other person just like any other person I am saying cultivate the highest level of simplicity try remain the way the lord created just leave it at that that is the principle Did you know part one of the ways to reduce stress in your life is to keep it simple. Just live a simple life and you reduce a lot of stress in your life. Should we stop giving out money to our wives for salon? <coughs> Allow me to answer. If it is to acquire satanic things Stop. If it's to acquire satanic things, do what? Stop it. No where to invest. And I've seen people crying of hunger, but their hair is well done. Umesikia vile wa mama wanalia bei ya mahindi imepanda? Eh? Na nywele yake ameweka elfu ngapi? 
tatu. Pesa yenye yangeenda alisi shamba mwaka ngapi? Moja. Na aweke mahindi na akivuna vune gunia sita aweke kwa nyumba. I'm not saying you neglect yourself. I'm saying know what is priority in your work. Who said simplicity means looking weird? Simplicity means standing out as one appointed to who? To God. There's got to be a difference between a redeemed one and a child of the world. We cannot be the same. There must be a distinction. So you need to choose whether you still want to belong to We are mefanya ni nataka kusoma kitu wapa. Hey, musiandike vitu mingi yawa. Hey, this is online. Sasa atasi online. This is ni vitu ingeni. Ini watu hapa wanasema ni online. <coughs> Let me just do this excerpt. Um, is, a, is a periodical. A periodical called The Health Reformer. October 1871, if I'm not wrong. 1871. The periodical is entitled Word, Words to... The periodical is Earthly Reformer. The title is Words to Christian What? Mothers. It does not have pages. But I, I am suggesting anyone who is a mother, read that. Okay? The Health Reformer, October 1, 1871. Words to Christian Mothers. It's all about these things that bother us. The hair, the what. But allow me to do do a paragraph here. Go read all of it. Just go read all of it. Just go read all of it. Listen, listen, listen. Fashion loads the heads of women with artificial braids and pads. Fashion, huh? Sini fashion tu inatusumbu wama nini? Atu sikizane tu kina mama. Leo ni women's ministry sabbath. Ata afadhali mujifanya leo ni wazuri sababu ni sabbath. Tukimalza sabbath uneza ni piga uko inji. Sini fashion tu inatuzumbua. Which do not add to their beauty. This is not Ellen White speaking. This is God speaking through Ellen White. That this thing you think is beautiful does not add to your what? Does not add. If you think it adds your beauty, leo talk up ukijua, you make yourself ugly. Which do not add to their beauty, but give an unnatural shape to the head. And the shapes are as many as the styles. Hmm? Yeah. The hair is strained, is it? Yes. The hair is strained and forced into unnatural positions. And it is not possible for the heads of these fashionable ladies to be comfortable. Is it possible? Oh. Kama ikondani ya kitu wapa umefunga kubwa, unaingisha nini? Kalamu. Na siku ya kwanza umetoka saloon, unachekanga kweli? Unafanyanga hili? Aki wacha kuna cheke. Aki nimecheka nijoka. It's painful, is it? Wengine tunakunywa Panadol wiki mzima ndio i relax. <laughs> the artificial hair and pads covering the base of the brain heat and excite the spinal nerves centering in the brain. The head should ever be kept cool. Ever. Be kept what? Watch a hair, what you in? The heat caused by these artificials induces the blood to the brain. The action of the blood upon the lower or animal organs. The action of the blood upon the lower or animal organs of the brain causes a natural activity tends to recklessness in morals and the mind and heart is in danger of being 
corrupted. Too much blood causes a natural activity on the animal organs, the back brain. So you're more driven with emotions than with sense. So that is when you, unasikia tu, leo wacha ni vaya skat, aini refu sana. Because you're being driven by what? Emotions. Sima hapa, anani. Ini refu sana. Lakini sini church na enda, haa, wacha leo, wacha ni yeke tu wapu. Then, tabeba lesu. Na hizi matiti ya zijasimama vizuri. Kucha ni vaya, hivile bra ingin. Unafinya matiti, unafinya paka matiti pia inalea. Inasema, hey, jamani. Na nakuja hapa subuhi. Kuambia kitu kwa uso ya elda. Na matiti yote inamwagika. Elda, nataku kwa. Elda, unasikia. Elda, ski. Elda, alipotea kitamu. Alipotea. And then kesho munalia hapa, eti yelda nani ya litoroka na bibi ya na? Ya mwati. Na yelda hako na jida kwa nyumba yake. Bibi ya mekataa kupatia hii vitu. Na hiko bure hapa kanisi. Kesho anatoroka na bibi ya mtu. Listen, the action of the blood upon the lower or animal organs of brain causes a natural activity. Tends to recklessness in what? Morals, tabi ambaye. Because it's not you thinking now. You, your brain has been captured, taken captive. You cannot, you cannot see sense. Good is evil. Evil is good. And the mind and heart is in danger of being corrupted. As the animal organs are excited and strengthened, because you excite the animal organs, the moral are enfeebled. The moral and intellectual powers of the mind. The moral and intellectual powers of the mind become servants to the animal. Now listen. In consequence, listen to the consequence. In consequence of the brain being congested, its nerves lose their healthy action. Mm. And take on morbid conditions. Making it almost impossible to arouse moral sensibilities. Such lose their power to discern sacred what? Things. That is the only line I read and I dropped it. That God is speaking, I cannot hear him because of my what? I hear. The unnatural heat caused by these artificial deformities about the head, induces the blood to the brain, producing congestion and causing the natural hair to fall off, producing baldness. Alafu unasikia inasema, ati ule msiana wa saloon mkono yake siyo mzuri, akinishuka nyole yangu inakatika. Thus the natural is sacrificed to the artificial. Many have lost their reason and become hopelessly insane by following this deforming fashion. Yet the slaves of fashion to fashion will continue to dress to thus dress their heads and suffer horrible, horrible disease and a premature death rather than be out of fashion. A physician writing a series of letters to a schoolgirl devotes one to the nice keeping of the hair. Among other directions, he remarks that much is said against wearing switches or jutes or chignons. This is the dryers. Okay? So you know them. Yeah, the dryers, the steamers, the what? Because they breed pestiferous vermin whose life is fed by their drain on the blood, small blood vessels of the scalp. But all such objections to these monstrosities become as nothing compared. Listen, he's saying, it doesn't matter what those things do. They are not as important to this main thing they do. Listen to what they do, the worst one. Compared with the objection which arises from the congested condition of the blood vessels of the back brain by the reason of their use. A switch or chignos is a, is a substance which in itself is a great conductor of animal heat. 
as the back of the head has a great deal of blood and a great deal of blood has a great deal of heat in it the surplusage of this heat should be allowed to pass off outwardly to wear one of these appliances is to keep heat in and as the part thus dressed becomes excessively heated disease takes place in a little while and the whole bodily structure becomes affected listen in women in women there is such an intimate connection between the back brain and the reproductive structure this thing connected intimately you interfere with this interfere with this that when the former becomes enfeebled the back brain becomes enfeebled the latter invariably takes on morbid conditions nakuwa na ugonjwa ya reproductive is it worth it Is it worth it? So are you investing in beauty or rottenness? So the man that is asking, should we stop giving our wives money to the son? Please do. Because this is what it does to your wife. And you think it's beauty. It's not beauty then. Isi maswali ni mingi, sitajibu yote. Yes. Elder is really trying to convince me that some are just repeating themselves. What imetosha isikuje tena tunaenda Nairobi. Is it wrong for men to plate their hair? Yes. Stop it. Even this hair sh- No na hizi nywele siku hizi tuna tunakata moho kata nywele kama mtoto ya shule. Weka namba moja. Ile mahali tunapata mtu ameweka sijui hata wa mama this thing nowadays you shave here and and leave some here kata nywele level ngapi you will not understand what i'm saying because probably most of you have not reached that level that you can understand what i'm saying but wait until you begin warfare in the world of darkness then you'll understand what we are saying what about mohawk for women wacha bald shaving for men <laughs> i don't know where it came from it was it was fashion from where did bald shaving come what i know there is a function that the hair plays on the on, on the scalp so that you don't need to cut all all of it you don't need to I'm just saying it politely. I mean many men would want to contest this. But but, but it's good. L- leave a little what? L- leave a little just just a little little hair. Okay, just just leave a little. Go study the function of the hair itself so that you don't have to to chop all of all, all of it. I know it's a fashion that came when when someone died, some celebrity had died. And people just started cutting It was even there in the Egyptian culture. That the things we have adopted, normalized and accepted and th- and we think is not normal. Think just, just leave just leave some 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 little some little hair. Don't don't shave all of it. What is the danger of what? Love to Facebook than what? Than Bible. So what are you getting from Facebook? You know you cannot compare the Bible and what? Facebook. They don't address the same thing. They don't. And if there are things the devil has hooked us into so that to distract us from God, the social what? Social media. It has given you a false perception of what life is all about and i see people posting things families wives children people pose like they're okay eh? 
until everyone say i want to be like so and so ah ngoja shetani ya kuchafue ndio kwani ah hawa ni wale watu tunaona anga pale facebook wako tu poa kumbe kumbe ni kubaya people people on facebook for validation but there's something missing in in their life they're struggling with things not everyone i'm saying most of us want validation it's my birthday so what help me wish my husband birthday and then what happened it's our anniversary so that we do what i wish the rate at which we were posting personal things huh? would be the same rate we post business business huh? tuna we encourage each other to do business serious things eh uh, tunaenda crusade tunataka press we post evangelism business opportunities but people post post nothing because themselves they are full of what then you find a good adventist girl gone to gone to a studio with 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 a dress that when she's in church she covers with a lace but in the studio when she sits on that seat all her thighs are out alafu nasema niambieni kitu alafu they take comfort in those comments at a beautiful congratulations gorgeous Tell me how much money it has put in your account nonsense. Sasa tunalia economy mbaya. Watu wana pesa ya kupeleka watoto shule. Mtu wako na pesa ya kuenda nayo huko na ukiuliza eh Friends there's a difference between a producer and a consumer. An employer and an employee. And most of people who do those things are actually employees and consumers because when you are a producer you have no time for those kinds of things busy busy in fact you don't care who likes you and who hates you you move some of us have learned to move whether there is a like or so like people comment say all manner of stuff we don't care we don't know you have a problem go deal with your problem na kujua si kujua I don't need to validate myself on social media. Live a quiet quiet life. Mwingine akipanda tu ndege kidogo tu na ni jambo ah watu watas Kandege tu kadogo 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 Alisha weka status yote Facebook Twitter Ukimuuliza ilikuwa pesa ngapi ticket ajui pesa ya kampuni Imagine all this energy we used it to evangelize on Facebook. Real testimonies of what God is doing in our lives. How many people would we change on social media? So many. But because we post our emptiness with a desire to be validated. And then we are so dry and thirsty and empty in the matters of who? God. And then someone says, "Me I can't even read the Bible." And for straight hours just responding to things on what facebook twitter da, 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 da. other people's lives talk about men addicted to facebook than the bible why men anyone who's addicted why men anyone can fall a victim of this addiction i've seen women employing house girls just to have time on what facebook anyone i guess this is a woman complaining either the husband has too much time on facebook than on her so she would rather she would rather have a hooked on the bible than what facebook there is a there is a thirst in man can never be quenched by anything in this world save christ himself and because the devil knows it it is christ that can quench it 
He has given us all manner of distractions. All manner of distractions. This society needs thinkers, not mere reflectors. But because we have not been raised thinkers, thinking becomes a problem in our lives. Ukiona uko na challenge that wants to engage your mind creatively, analytically. Una, ay, hiyo ni stress. Macho niende ni katembea hapa inje. Anything that just want to tax your mind a little bit. That would, would require your creativity, your analytical beat, you know. Everyone switches off. We are used to people thinking for us. And I ask, it is because our mind is packed with a lot of garbage. Fed with nonsense. There is a wisdom that only heavens can give. The fear of the Lord. It's the beginning of what? I tell you, when you're in love with the Lord, you can never fail to be a thinker. The wisdom you have is not of this earth. Wisdom you have is heavenly. There is no child of God deeply masked in Christ that is not a thinker. No child of God. But when you realize you have no time for God, you can never be a thinker. You are full of drama. Always. Always arguing even things that cannot be, should not be argued. Things that shouldn't be argued. Very small things. Kusuka uzi nimbaya, toa. I know you want an okay from me. Me, I'll not give you an okay. I said, just try look the way the Lord did what? I want us to imagine we are going to heaven. Tell me who's going to heaven, Nauzi. I'm a dreadlocks. Yani yu siku imefika, Kristo wamekuja kutuchukua. Kweli, when someone dies, do they, do they, are they buried with those things? Hello, Pastor. Please advise on building home altars. If the husband is not interested on things with worship, how do you encourage him to take the lead? I said most of these things, you fight them on your what? On your knees. You don't push anyone. Don't go like, Pastor Alisema, ulikuwa, tulikuwa na wewe church. So, ulisikia kitu, Pastor Amesema, saini wiki mbili, hata ujaweka family altar. Ya, sijuange kili yako inakaji. You don't go home like that. These things are fought on the what? On the knees. Those that know my testimony on social media. It's just this year my husband set an old in our house himself. This year. And he runs it from wherever he is. Faithfully. All these years. I have taken lead with my children because he did not go. Many people ask me, Bwana yako ni pastor? And I laugh. They think, if you are a pastor, your husband. When you wait to me talk mbali, I always tell them, he's not even close to a deacon. Wangu meenda mbali. But the journey God has had with us, it is worth it. So when I tell you an altar that a husband has raised is different from the one wife has raised. Very different. And there's no day I ever sat with him to discuss, let's have an altar. No, he just hears me preaching. Uko, kama mtu mwingine. Akiona, naambia mungu, hii someone ikimufikia, imufikie. Ata isikia vile watu wangine wanafanya ni, wanaisikia. The way it would work on any other individual, it would work on him. The rest I finish on my what? My knees. Because you don't want to challenge the head of the house over his leadership. You don't. Have you ever challenged the CEO? You are CEO. Ati, hii utawala yako naona ikituangusha hii. 
Wapi? Kesho utapata barua ya kukufuta kazi. Sasa hiyo tambua consider yourself fire. These things we fight them on our knees because you can ne- the work of convicting a heart does not belong with a human being. The work of convicting the heart belongs with the holy word. That is the that is the person you you plead with. That is a person you plead with. And before you know it, because the Lord cannot give you what you have not asked. Ask and I shall give. But we don't ask. We fight. Mimi sijaona mwanaume mwenye hata hawezi enda kanisa na watoto wake. Hata hawezi yaomba na watoto. Sasa hizo ni nini unasema? Na utapata mlikuwa nyote kwa ba, mlipatana kwa ba nyote. Nyote mlipatana tu kwa ba. Eh? Nyote wawili. Huko ndio mlipatana. Yesu akakupata akakuokota wa kwanza. Sasa unaharakisha mwenzako. Peleka yeye pole pole. Hata yeye atapatika. Peleka yeye pole pole. Acha haraka mingi. What should one do in a case where the husband left and remarried? Should one be married afresh or should stay single? I love Christians. They create a mess then they want you to give them a solution. Yaani Mungu amesema usifuate hii njia, eh? Alafu wanaifuata wakipata imegonga mwamba wanakuuliza tena tufanye nini? And those are questions that put me in a straight place. Okay? It's like God saying, do not do, do not eat this fruit. And then they go ahead and do what? Eat. And then they come back and ask the pastor, my husband and I ate the fruit. What is your advice? There are consequences that we will have to live with. Very difficult. Very difficult. And you know what that kind of life looks like? So you know it. Yes. It's not easy. It is not. It comes heavy. We can avoid it. Two wrongs don't make a right. Some have said, "Oh, but he's moved on." If you believe you are truly married to that man, then there's no way you're going. You begin your own battle there. Atarudi upende usipende. Because for me I believe there is only one spiritual covenant one spiritual marriage covenant that is recognized in where in heaven so this other one side shows that someone leaves and gets someone else they go i've always likened it to 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 fueling a gasla fueling a gasla with with 200 and expecting it to reach chinese what do you get I told you spiritual warfare. It is hard for the one that does not know God. For the one that knows God, it is your prayer that brings that man back where? Back home. Your prayer is the one that brings him back home. But because we are not grounded in Christ, it's difficult for us to fight. This, the best solution is also for us to say i have moved on and then many who move on because they already have children they go become second wives in another marriage so you ni ku move forward am ni backward these are not easy questions there's a way the lord wants us to live and then we mess and then we want solutions for our what mess it comes with the repercussions heavy and we learn to go through it don't create another mess hii ndoa ni ngumu yenye kule watu wanatoka kutoanga nguvu wanaanza ingine tena if my husband impregnates a girl should he marry her to be the head of the altar huh? or what do <laughs> he still the head of the altar even with those flaws even with those flaws there is no one beyond god's power to redeem 
no one. And if you think you can write off people like that, you can't. You, can. you know, what, what you people are saying is you, you, you're married to angels that don't make mistakes. And, and there's a sin that cannot be tolerated. But you need to ask yourself, alitoa wapi nguvu wakaoa? Wakaweka mfanye kazi mimba? Pengine we ni ule wa hii wiki na umu na kichu. Next week ni mgongo. Week three ni periods. Week four ni mechoka. Tumeanza tena week one. Kichwa. Ineza ni we umeleta hii jida. Iko, iko vitu ingine tunafanya alafu inatuletea shida kwa ndoa. And then we blame it on someone else. At times it is us. Eti, ukitisha tu pesa kidogo ukanyimwa una revenge na bedroom huko. Na revenge yako ni ya miezi ngapi? Unafikiria unaishi na msichana? Unaishi na mwanaume? That feed on this thing any time is tea time. Nasa ingine ni kuvaa kwako ndio mbaya. You have set the example in your house with seductive dressing. So when your house girl comes, they copy the same thing. What you forget your house girl has shape than you. So when you when you're in the house and you're with your tights, huh? And and a t-shirt that reaches here. Huh? Na tumbo yenye mehanga. Kama yangu inaona inaenda kwa. Sasa ingine huko na first floor, second floor, you know. Third floor. You know, you have set the pace for members of your what? So, your daughter will dress like that, your house girl will do what? Nanika house girl kakuna shape. Na kwa vile pia hata ujui ni bwana yako unafaa kusaa. Haka ndiyo kasichana kana muletea maji ya kuwasha mkono, sende? Ndiyo kasichana kana muletea nini? Let me, men go with what? Sight. As we go with touch. Let me tell you, even if he is saved, huh? even if he is saved, do not create a seductive environment in your what? Your house. The Bible says Abraham was a man who was able to command his household after him. You don't tell Abraham the kind of life you live in his homestead. You don't. So most of us have set that bad pace. And we have had relatives, friends, house girls in our house dressed seductively. At times it's a very short skirt, tight, lit here, mapaja, meupe, na yako ni meusi. What do you expect? Your husband feeds on it every day. He drives on the road. The road is seductive. The office is seductive. The house is super seductive. Kesho utakuomba utamunyimu. Kichwa inaumu. Niko kwa period. Mugongo. Nimechoka. Ha? Ile ya taangukia mapema. Azimu. Wanayangu hale patia made member. Aye. Some of these things we create it about what? Ourselves. We create it ourselves. We do. Now, if you listen, Mama, Nini Nimba, I'm not going to miss that. I'm going to see this kid. 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 Now when I expect I ask you to your story one month, two months, three months, four months, five. Uh, you're not staying with a woman. You're staying with a what? Kama hata patia maid atapeana wapi? Inji. Na itakuma. Umi umi. Is it right to bring a kid born out of wedlock to be brought up with the matrimonial kids while the mom is still alive? I don't know the arrangement you have. I have no idea. 
But rarely would a woman leave his child to go and stay in another home. Unless something happens. Unless you have a woman who does not care about her children. Are the ones that would give you his, her children. What they would demand is, Mdoto wake pia fanyo nini? Aende shule, aleshu. But if that opening is there, what is the problem? At, at, skia i question, at, at it will brought up, to be brought up with the matrimonial kids. So you think if they are matrimonial kids, those ones are goats. Swalingina hapa ngumu, please share your contact, I tell you. That's a question, share your contact. Can a boy child be delegated house calls like cooking and cleaning? This looks like a cultural question, why not? What is the problem? In learning how to cook, how to clean. So if I have sons, let me say I have sons. Eh? Kama wengine wamebarikiwa na ndume sita, tatu, ine. Yani, mimi ndo nikuwe ni na watanganezea bedroom yao. Sindio? Mimi, mama yao. Aye, mutasugua mbaka paka rufi ya nyumba. Huko juu. Get, mutawasha. I will raise them as men. There's nothing wrong in them knowing how to do it. You mean, I don't know how many times my husband has gotten into the kitchen willingly. Say, Nataka kupika uji. This cooked porridge. The problem comes when a woman insists that a man must work in the house. That is where the problem is. But are there times when a woman is very sick? And watch her very sick. Umetoka koza. Na kuna mfanya kazi. Ni wewe na watoto na bwana ya? Si wanawashanga mpaka napkin zile enzi za kuwasha napkin. Kuzi umetoka kujifungua, hauna mfanye kazi, haki nye muki ishi ile maisha watu tulisha ya ile ya kuwasha napkin. Nafikiri ilisha na first bone yangu. Even my twins are raised on nappies. Umetoka usiptali, hauna mfanye kazi, ni wewe na bwana yako na watoto, na watoto. Yaani tulale njaa ati yako fundishwa kukula kupika. Kuna vitu vingine mnaulizanga. It does not make him a lesser man. But I'm saying I must raise my boys to be men. Sasa nikuulize, sahi yenye amenda university. Let me just ask. Sahi amenda university. Uyo kijana yako uyo. Ako university. Nani anamfulia uko? Nani anampikia uko? Iko maswali mnauliza sijui kama mnakuanga normal kidogo ama mume. Uyo mtoto wako sahi ako university yapi? Nani ana nani anampikia? Ajaoa. Ile kipindi bada ajaoa. Ajaoa. We unaishi huku Eldoret. Ukijana yako wako Mombasa. Nani ya nampikia huku? Nani ya nampuli? Ama nalala nja. When my husband's phone has a password, does it mean that he keeps secret? Hey, mukona. Sasa hii niswaliga. Kuna vitu serious ya kuhandol. What are you looking for in his phone? What of the need? He's in security. We don't put passwords on phone because we are keeping secrets. There are many other reasons why we put password on what? Even on our laptops, don't we put passwords? Because we are keeping secrets? No. Why are people always thinking on the side of evil? Why? That is an insecure person. Which secret now? I don't know whether I'm the one who lives a carefree life. 
if you have a secret, let me ask you something. If someone has a secret, what is a secret? Let's start there. What is a secret? Huh? What is a secret? Something that only you? So how does Okal know that there is something that you only know? If, if, if a secret, if someone has a secret, eh? Well, now, Rogani umepawe ya kujua hiko secret mtu wakuna. Nani what? Nani secret? I, I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. The, the only person that can know a secret that is kept is who? The rest can only imagine that there is a what? Because that is why it is called a what? Secret. Mama White says this. Love begets love. Trust begets what? Trust. Just learn to trust people. With time, they will learn to, to trust you. That, that kind of life you want, leave it first. Leave it yourself. Ishi yo maisha kwanza. The rest will. Your spouse will be asking, why is it her phone is always just open? But you don't start imagining. Let me tell you, if you want a beautiful life in marriage, don't, don't drive your life based on materialism and consumerism. If those things make, make a lot of sense to you, you will never thrive in marriage. Let your greatest desire be that my spouse is deeply in, submerged in Christ. The minute they know Christ so well, the rest fall in what? Let that be your greatest desire. Wacha kuomba mungu, nisaidie nione, nijue hiyo secret. Let your greatest prayer, desire, be that God, I pray that my husband knows you. Because the day your husband will know God, adultery will go, fornication will go, secrets will go, taka taka yote will do what? Those things don't go because you've asked people to let them go. No, those things go because there is another power that operates in what? I don't know whether I'm the one who was raised a fool. My husband will tell you I don't probe. I can see something and I've trained myself it will not even hurt me. Why? Hi. Life is not that serious. There's a heaven to come. I've trained myself that. Sish to live in a bit to Dogo. At in any way, I'm a I miss you. Ay, is a bit to is a bit to Nindogo, son. At a foot a million more. Yeah, well, not a cat once a bit. I who you in any alessema, I miss you. Stuck his stress in Dogondogo. He knows I don't probe. I will not even ask. He can you, my son, at the Malzana and I am Ukund to Malzana and Mungo. To date, if he's here, he'll tell you. He will always ask him, why is it you don't ask certain questions? I don't. And my prayer for all the years I've known my husband was that God, I pray you incline his heart to yourself that he may be able to keep your commandments, your judgments, and your statutes. If I can have that version of Mokoro, I have the best husband in this world. And slowly, it is paying off. So when I tell you my husband wakes me up at three, from wherever he is, it's time for devotion. And we do a three hour, up to six. Ni kukimbia bafu tunakimbia sababu tunayenda kazini. And we never want the conversation to, to end. It's a con it paid off. We could be having lots of scars, Looking back, lots of bruises, but they remind us 
that we were once in a miry clay and the Lord reached out his hand and pulled us out. It reminds us of the power of God we have experienced in person to get us to where we are. It reminds us there are battles we fought and we emerged victorious. So we are more interested in the version we are becoming than in what we are and what we used to. And what drives us is the desire to know Christ deeply. The rest we don't fight of. Because at the back of my mind, I know my husband does not sustain me. I am sustained by God in where? In heaven. Let no one lie to you that I can't live without you. You can. The only person you cannot live without is who? He says, without me, you can do. When did it become that without Elizabeth, you can do nothing? Why? Without Mokoro, you can do nothing. We move. And that's why when you're left kwa stage, you say, what's your stage? Stage, pale, ile stage ya Nairobi, ya Machakos country. You say, what's your Na watoto, watoto ine tano, eh? Na ndio, mara yako ya kwanza kuingia Nairobi. Uju wen, ukaambiwa naenda kununua air time hapa, saa kumi. Saa kumi na moja, saa kumi na mbili, saa moja, saa mbili. I'm just giving you an imagination, okay? Kafika saa mbili usiku, wanakuliza mama, ulikuwa naenda hapa. Nene kuja hapa na mzee yangu, alienda kununua credit, siju ya meendo, amepotea, patea, kabisa. Una, una ata fea kwa bag, na maisha lazima ifanya nini? Sanga. Hapo ndi unasemanga, I can do all things through Christ who does what? In Christ I am more than a what? Unasonga kusonga. Na unasonga ukijua mungu naomba, atarudi. Yile jamaa itafaya ni? The prodigal son, alirudi ya makurudi. Alienda sababu he was out of his senses. Akiwa huko inje, roo alimuongelesha, roo alifanya kazi kwake. And then the Bible says when he came to his what? Haka kumbuka hiko wapi? Nyumbani. Unafikiria ule prodigo zana hako lilala na wanawake huko inje? Katha, malaya alilala na yu ni wengi. Lakini alikumbuka hiko nyumbani. Akarudi. Akirudi ya sikupate Machakos Country Bus. Akupate hata JKIA. Hakupate kwa airport. Si alikuwa cha machakos. Hakirudi ya kupate wabi? Na hakirudi, use miaje, ati ulidhani utarudi, ulidhani sita endelea. Unarudi tu kwa hile kiti yako, hile ya co-driver. Unamuachia gari ya fanya ni? Use ni maneno mingi. Don't say a lot of things. Out there he would have died. The Lord sustained him because of the prayer you have been making. Many men out here play a lot out here. They don't get sick, not because they use condoms. They don't get sick because their wives are on their what? So you can choose how you want to fight this battle. Hapo utashinda hivita. Utashinda. Hakuna mchawi atachukua bibuwa na yako na atoboe. Hakuna atabeba mziku. Atasema wacha niache buwana ya wenyewe. Nimeenda kama nimefika mbaka Nigeria na sije mmeshindwa kumpatu. Wacha niwache buwana ya nini. Wanaeza kuata na watoto nae watatu hini. Habu wakiishi ya wako naishi kama ndugu na dada. Walikuwa naishi kama ndugu na dada. But all that rubbish left out there is a scar that will remind you. You fought a what? But. And you won it. I'm saying so heavy things. Some are saying, oh, you mama, and that we enjoy. I pray the Lord will speak to us. Give us a better understanding 
that I would want than I would want us to understand. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Get to the point. Take a step forward.